गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू द कंप्यूटर क्लास टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर लेसन सिक्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू एम एस एक्सल टू थाउजेंड टेन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग योर क्लास प्लीज बी रेडी विथ योर बुक टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द अलाइनमेंट ऑफ डाटा इन ए सेल ओके अलाइनमेंट ऑफ डाटा इन ए सेल इट रेफर्स टू द फिजिकल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द डाटा इन कंटैक्ट to the boundaries of a cell by default text is left aligned and numbers are right aligned broadly speaking there are two ways of alignment available these are discussed here so alignment means what it is a physical arrangement of the data in context to the boundary of a cell by default the data text are in left aligned but and the numbers are in right aligned so here the two types of alignments are there so we will discuss that one horizontal alignment there are three types of horizontal alignment horizontal alignment is the one l type of alignment of the data in a cell and this horizontal alignment includes again the three types of horizontal alignment these are left center and right so alignment horizontal alignment are of three types these are left center and right vertical alignment there are three types of vertical alignment these are top middle and bottom okay look horizontal means from the, this way means this way is called the horizontal and this way is called the vertical so here align uh, in horizontal alignment three types are there uh, left someone will be left this side or middle or right side okay and vertical alignment some will be top bot middle or bottom okay you can change the alignment of data in a cell follow these steps if you want to change the alignment of the data in a cell then you have to follow these steps select the cells first one click on the desired alignment button in the alignment group of the home tab then you have to click on the desired alignment button which one you want from the alignment group of the home tab next one is the auto fill options the auto fill features allow you to quickly fill the cells with repetitive or sequential data such as chrono uh, chronological da dates or numbers or repeated tags this feature is implemented by using the auto handle of the selected cell so auto fills means automatically filled up the cells okay suppose you have uh, some repetitive things to repetitive numbers repetitive tags are there to filled then you can click uh, you can set the auto fill option it is implemented by fill handling of the selected cell here how can you will do that the cursor changes to plus sign when placed on the handle fill if you handle fill the uh, cells then the uh, your cursor will change into the plus sign then you can scroll it look here one all the cells they required one so one cell you write down to one then your cursor uh, put the cursor here your cursor will be changed into plus sign drag it then all the cells will filled up with the automatically filled up with the number 1 okay follow this step to quickly fill the cells with auto fill select the cell with the desired data and put the cursor on the small black square in the lower right corner a, a plus sign appears so what you have to do first you one cell you write down the letter or number in a one cell first cell then this cursor now this will be boundary black color boundary you will see look like that one black color boundary will be small black color boundary will be seen so here this right bottom corner you can put your cursor here then it will be become turn into plus sign then you can drag it down so all will be filled up with the auto fill options drag it down to as many cell as you want to fill release the mouse button the auto fill option box appear on the right of the plus sign bring the cursor on the box and click on the drop down 
arrow. Like that you can auto fill the numbers. Number fifth option. Choose the desired action from the drop down list. For example, click the fill series option to complete the series or the copy text option to copy the content of the selected cell. The auto fill feature is not limited to number. It can also be used for text and a mix of text and numbers. For example, to make a repeating list of the days of the week. Okay. So, autofill will not only limited for the numbers. You can uh, do the, you can apply it in the text also. So, for example, type Monday in a cell. Highlight the cell and drag across with the mouse. Select the desired action from the autofill option. Drop down list okay suppose in the one cell you can write down the monday then you can go to the top uh, bottom right corner your cursor will change into plus sign you can drag it down then it will be automatically fill other days of the week editing data selecting data now editing and selecting data before a cell can be modified or formatted it must first be selected so before you can select uh, edit or modify any format any cells so first you have to select it then when you select it it will be highlighted okay refer to the table given below for selecting group of cells here is the one table is there so that is for uh, selecting the group of cells cells to select one cell mouse action click once on a cell entire row click on the row level entire column click on the column level entire work set click on the entire seat button range of the cell drag mouse over the cells now cutting cells to cut cells, select the desired cells and then click on the cut option in the clipboard group of the home tab. Home tab. So you have before cutting the cells, what you have to do to uh, cut cells, select the desired cell which one you want to cut. Select that one that click on the cut option which you will get on the home tab in the clip or uh, clipboard. Okay. Copying cells. Then the uh, in the cut cells uh, option whatever the things are there that will be removed from the original place and you can keep it in the another place like you have done a uh, cut option in the ms word same thing you can do here also copying cells to copy the cell content first select the cell and then click on the copy option in the clipboard group of the home team for copying the text what you have to do same first you have to select a cell then click on the copy option which are present in the clipboard uh, group of the home tab. Pasting cells. Select the cell into which you want to paste the content and then click on the paste option in the paste drop down list in the clipboard group of the home tab. Same thing like a cutting and uh, copying you have to do pasting also. For pasting what you have to do when you want to paste the uh, text select that cell okay then you click on the paste option from the clipboard group of the home tab now saving an ms excel 2010 file after completing the work you can save the change in two ways after completing all the works you can change the ms excel file file in two ways one click on the save button on the quick access toolbar here the quick access toolbar is there here you will get the save option save button by clicking that save button you can save the ms excel file uh, choose a directory folder to save the file in first you have to click on here then this type of one menu will appear from here you can select any directory option where you want to uh, save your file click there that then here you write down the name after that you click on the save button like that you can save the ms excel file or click on the file tab drop down list save save as option the save as 
dialog box appears select the destination folder and specify the file name click on the save button it is recommended that you save your files every 10 minutes when you save change for the first time you use file tab then save as option subsequently changes made in the same file are saved using the save option in the file tab drop down list so children that's all for today's class in the next class we will learn more about the uh, ms excel okay uh, means in the next class also we will continue our chapter 6 that is introduction to ms excel before ending here are some home assignment questions for you write down the answer and send me in whatsapp group thank you and have a nice day